I haven't seen it yet, but um, in general, we've seen that that elementary school children and younger um, typically are not um, big spreaders of virus in the same way that an older child, a teenager, an adult would be. Um, and so I think what they're trying to do is how do we balance all the needs of a, a school? So we have kids who don't spread the virus real consistently, who are able to mask, and then the challenges of figuring out how to educate children and, and, and get them in, in the right space and be flexible in, in recommendations, but still safe so that schools can do the work they need to do. So um, my guess is what they, they've seen is population of people who don't spread it like adults do, they are masking. Uh, we don't have a lot of evidence within uh, studies in schools that there have been big outbreaks in that age group uh, if the correct precautions are taken. So we think you can be a little bit tighter in, in how you um, lay, lay out a room and have students working in that setting. Concerning that population, um, I, look, I think the CDC has been actually pretty conservative through all of this. There have been calls to, you know, that they're being too conservative and you need to, they need to open up and do this. And they they felt that pressure, I, th I think, from the beginning. So I think if they feel like, hey, this is something that is worth doing and they're already super conservative in their guidelines, then, um, then, I, then I would trust that, particularly in a group that doesn't spread it consistently and is able to mask. 